for joining me for another edition of Beat the Clock, presented by Valid Point. Drew here, waiting on my special guests. As today we're going to be covering the topic, going green, and why our environment needs help in the United States. So to get... Sorry. Traffic was something else. I'm ready. What is the topic? Ah, okay, whatever. Joining me for the first time today is Mr. ATG who thinks he provides some great points on how to fix our environment. Oh, that's the top? Oh, to, okay, go ahead. To go green. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm if good. I start this clock right now, then... I'm good. Okay, today's game, as always, is going to be 90 seconds each for us to provide points and counter arguments. So I'll go ahead and get this kicked off. Go ahead. Okay, um, traffic sucks. We need to get rid of these. <laughs> we need to get rid of these cars, okay? So it took me three hours to travel two miles. So we should take these cars, every single car on Earth, except for mine, and we burn it, scrap it, and sell it to China. That way, these cars that are letting out these bad fumes aren't hurting the environment, and it's better for the environment. So, some of the issues that always seem to arise whenever we talk about fixing our environment and going green is jobs. And I'm not sure what your plan on is with this after we scrap all of our cars except for yours. Is what are we going to do with the hundreds of thousands of people who are employed in the auto industry in the United States after we scrap all the cars? I'll give them a job. I mean, if anything goes wrong, if anything goes wrong with my car, you should be able to fix it if you work in the auto industry. And you know... I mean, the government can pay all these people because I got another point for you. We need to take all these concrete roads and turn them into dirt roads. Because all that money that we make from China by scrapping every car and selling it but mine, we can make billions and trillions of dollars. That'll get rid of the deficit, the debt in America. And we can, some of those people that are in the auto really could, you know, make money and by turning some of these concrete roads into dirt roads. So, you still have your car. I'm sure that will not cause any public outbursts whatsoever. Um, thanks for that idea. So, instead we turn all of our roads into dirt. We gain, as you would suspect, trillions of dollars off of China's uh, income. Yeah. And now we're stuck with dirt roads. And So, how are these people going to be uh, getting to their jobs? You know, most people work 10, 15, 20 miles away from their job. You know, if they still have it because you just pretty much destroyed half of America's infrastructure. So, you know, how do they get to work now? Chill. You're coming at me correct. At me later. I said nothing about airplanes. So, 747s, Boeing still exists. You know, American Delta. I, I said nothing about airplanes. Nothing about it. Nothing about planes. Nothing about helicopters. So, they still exist. Take a chopper to work, you know? Drop in the field. And, and plus, people like running. You see people on the streets running. So, just a nice job, whatever. I mean, find ways. I mean, Americans were smart for the most part. I can give you a ride if you pay me, so no big deal. Ignoring the fact that you're going to give 100,000 people plus a ride in the United States, why don't we just do something more simple like what we're trying to do right now? What about our solar panels, our you know, hydroelectric dams, uh, wind turbines? Those seem like really normal and you know, well thought out ways to you know, go green and help our environment. Why not just? Stick with those ways or try something similar. How do you expect to get the wind turbine to where it's going? Transportation. <laughs> what kind of transportation is going to get it to where it's going? Using your methods, I guess there really isn't much. What about, what about electric cars? Are you going to get rid of all the electric cars? Whoa. I... Don't know how many Teslas there are in the world or anybody that has one, but I'm pretty sure that they got money regardless. And they can pay for three or four horses to pull them around. Matter of fact, horses are strong. I got kicked in the head by a horse. My hair grew. So they're strong. So Teslas and electric cars scrap them for even three times more the money a regular car would. That's money in America's pocket. I'm being aware that we're out of time today. Uh, very well thought out debate. Thank you for joining us, Mr. ETG. 
Um, be sure to come back next week as I'll uh, discuss a new topic. As every week I try to discuss a very known problem or controversial topic in the United States. So, again, thanks, Mr. ATG, for joining us today. And let us know what you think we could do to help the environment and go green. I was told I was about to get fed, so where's the food at? I was told. We'll get to that. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah. Thanks for watching. No, seriously. I'm hungry. I was showing up because I was promised food. No, I was promised food when I started. I'm done. Where's the food at?